Africa's food production systems are constantly battling numerous threats. From climate change and conflicts to health crisis, plant disease and pest outbreaks, the shocks have in different ways brought to the fore gaps in the continent's crisis response capacities. The disruptions engendered by such crises require accurate and timely data generation to predict and inform agricultural production for better preparedness and intervention planning. However, data analytics with predictability capabilities are not readily accessible to decision makers across the continent. Academy at 2063 is working to change this. From the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program uh, to the Regional Nutrition uh, Strategy or the uh, recently adopted African Climate Change Strategy and Green Recovery Action Plan, wherever the African continent is going with these agendas, our role is to try and provide the data uh, and the analytics that will help the member states uh, define programs, implement them successfully to continue to make progress. Africa Agriculture Watch, in short AGWA, is a flagship program where Academia 263 is bringing on the table artificial intelligence for agricultural sector. So the main idea of AGWA is how can we know before the harvesting period in African countries, what would be the most likely scenario in terms of agricultural production? Established in 2021, the Africa Agriculture Watch web-based platform is contributing to the Agenda 2063 aspiration for a prosperous Africa based on inclusive growth, sustainable development, and modern and productive agriculture using science, technology, innovation, and indigenous knowledge. How? AGWA provides data to drive agricultural productivity by periodically releasing focus on food crop production for nine crops across 47 African countries. This is achieved using its Africa Crop Production AFCP model. AGWA is based on two emerging technologies, remote sensing and machine learning. But the type of remote sensing we're relying on for AGWA is the one from satellite images. So satellite images are pretty interesting because you can cover a large area with just a few uh, pictures, but also you can have the same pictures several times in a year. That way you can do uh, some monitoring activities. Machine learning is a set of architecture and models that are very good at predicting. So basically, how do you learn from historical patterns and then try to make a prediction of what would happen in the near future. These predictions are embedded in ready-to-use Agua outputs and disseminated via agua.org, accessible through the following steps. Start. Select the year. Select the country. Select the crop. Click on Visualize and view the pixel-level map, clicking on each location to view the exact production value. And while you're at it, navigate to publications and check out Agua's crop production forecast briefs. But we don't stop here. We would like um, Agua to be the place where African policymakers and decision makers will go to know what would be the most likely scenario in terms of agricultural production and crops. We see ourselves as a mobilizer of African expertise to collaborate on data and analytics to support the African Union agenda and support African countries so that we all march and march uh, at greater speed towards 2063. Head to agua.org, visualize, explore, download. <laughs>